Hello everybody and welcome back to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Alrighty, so today we have our next episode and we're gonna wrap up the other side quests that we picked up earlier. So we are currently doing the Candelabra and Theft mission, uh, which is uh, basically like a little scavenger hunt. Uh, and the first clue mentioned a three-eyed giant, and if you can see right here, there's a little three glass eyes at the top there. So this is actually the location of our first clue. Hmm, what's wrong? H hey, that's a card, isn't it? Let's have a look. This is definitely it. It's the same card that we saw in the Mayor's Estate. I see. So this is what the card meant by three-eyed. Ah, I see. This might be the three-eyed part of the clue. So, is anything written on it? Let's see. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adio see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. Looks like the next spot's being picked. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Red and black. That has to mean something in Ruan, don't you think? Probably, yeah. I guess the criminal sure must love his puzzles. He won't break his own rules. What a total jack. Oh well, let's start searching. And red and black, if that makes you think of anything. Remember we have a casino? So that could only mean the roulette table. Oh, which is on the top floor, not outside. A red and black waltz. I can't imagine it means anything but roulette. I think you're right. Let's check it out. Is there something you're looking for, sirs and madams? Sorry, but we'll be done in just a moment. Aha! Found it. A card is glued flat to the surface. So it should have the next message, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adio see only the truth and pass it on to you. Rest at the land harbour and look to the one-eyed lion. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Okay, I've added it to my bracer notebook. The important parts are probably the land harbour and the one-eyed lion. One-eyed this time. It's always made more sense once we got there before. I doubt this time will be any different. Yeah, I guess we need to get a move on. Our madman's clues must be followed after all. Sorry to cause all the fuss. Alrighty. Um, let me just go ahead and switch people around. You know, mate. I like to play as Joshua. He's my favourite character. And so this one is a little bit more of a doozy to figure out but we're going to be going to the landing port and it is this little motorized gadget here i get it the one-eyed lion i wonder if there's a way to keep it from seeing you this must be the land harbor no doubt about it all right let's see what we can find Okay, I found the card. We should confirm its contents. Right. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adio see only the truth and pass it on to you. Beyond the drawbridge, look to the barrels near the steel crane. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Hmm, another weirdo clue. Now it's a steel crane. It sounds suspiciously easy to figure out this time. The, bro the drawbridge it mentions is probably the one over in the harbour. Ugh, how much longer are we going to have to do this? <laughs> I'm sure we must be nearing the end. We just have to keep going. Okay, Estelle, what do you need to pick up your spirits? Um, I I'm just tired as all. Well. I'm fine, really. See, I'm ready to get back in the game. I swear. Yeah, this last clue is pretty darn easy. So 
We'll just head over there now. There's the steel crane. Hmm, that's weird. This must be the steel crane, but there are no barrels to be found. Well, what the heck is this stupid clue supposed to mean then? Hey, mister. Hmm, what is it? You seen any barrels around here? Barrels? Can't say that I can recall. The warehouse is packed full of them though. Ah, oh well. Hmm, the warehouse? What's wrong? Uh, I was just thinking. Didn't we find the warehouse key earlier? Yes, at Mr. Hogg's request. And we haven't talked to him either, right? The barrels near the crane were moved to the warehouse. I get you. You're thinking that the barrels that were here are all inside now. You're probably right. Nice going, Estelle. Ha <laughs> it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Hogg has to say. Sorry to bother you while you're working. We have something we wanted to ask you. Me? What do you want? I was wondering what kind of work you were doing when you lost the key. You said you were moving the barrels near the crane to the warehouse. Is that correct? Yep, sounds right. It was actually just one barrel though. It was in the way of the crane, see, so it had to be put in storage. I lost the key sometime after that. Sorry to be a bother, but is there any way we could get into the warehouse? We'd like to examine that barrel. Hmm, well, management doesn't approve of outsiders entering our warehouses. It's prohibited, in fact. The stuff that's stored there is supposed to be secure, you know? My job's at stake, so I really can't let you inside. Man, that's a problem, then. Still, I owe you one. I'll see what I can do. You just want to check out that one barrel, right? Yes, that's correct. Well, I can take it out for a spell, then. That way you can look it over all you want without even having to go inside. Hooray for loopholes! Ah, okay. Thanks, that would be a huge help. This is no big deal. Follow me then. Okay, it's open. Hang on a second here. Oh, Mr. Portos. What you doing around here? No, oh, I just had a hunch about something. So I used the duplicate key to get in the warehouse and check on it. Huh? The duplicate? Didn't even know there was one. Anyway, who are these folks? Ah, they're braces. They want to look over that barrel I moved in here earlier. It's part of their investigation. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid that only authorised personnel are allowed inside the warehouse. Yeah, but I'm the one who moved it in there in the first place. Should be okay if I bring it outside for a short while so they can look it over, no? Yes, that should be fine. Please assist them in their investigation. Surprised to see braces coming all this way for an investigation, though. Such young ones, too. You guys do some admirable work. <laughs> well, we do alright. If you need any information, feel free to ask Hog. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, I'll bring the barrel. You, sorry for the long wait. Here's the barrel you wanted. Wow, this thing is huge. And you actually carried it all by yourself? Haha, <laughs> never underestimate a butt hand. I found the card, Estelle. Whoa, really? I must apologise most profoundly for the barrel to have been moved was an error most inopportune, but the warehouse key was recovered and you have made it here. I will reveal the truth unto you. Your reward will be what you have sought. Look within the barrel. The candelabrum you will no doubt be returned to its rightful owner. Ah, time grows short. We will meet again. Got a feeling Mr. Portos is probably the phantom thief. I've got a bad feeling about this. This weirdo must have been close by, watching us. Indeed. Hey, look at the card. Some of the ink is still wet. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? 
Huh? Oh, uh, Mr. Portos. You said earlier that this would be okay. What are you talking about? Darn, we've been had. Whoa, no way. You were just here a little while ago, and... It must have been someone posing as him. The criminal may have worn a disguise and used the opportunity to plant the card. Oh no. Well, then we need to get after him. Oh, Estelle. Off she goes. Joshua, shouldn't we do something? I'm afraid it's probably too late. We messed up when we didn't notice the imposter before. I doubt Estelle will find any trace of him. Ah, I see. Let's just make sure the candelabrum isn't damaged. Retrieving it was our main priority, not catching the perp. You're right. It was written that it'd be in the spiral. I pray that's true. Oh man, I hope she isn't too disappointed that we're opening this without her. And that's the story. We've got the candelabrum back undamaged, but we haven't found any clues as to the whereabouts of the thief. All we know is that he calls himself Phantom Thief B. Oh, if only we'd found out about the fake sooner. He disappeared while we were running around in circles. No, no, you've all done a fine job. The main thing is that the sapphire glim has been recovered. The mayor is right. You've done exactly what was asked of you. Thank you for your kind words. But the fact is, we still allowed the thief to escape. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with this. We'd like your permission to continue the investigation. If possible, we want to search the estate for any further clues. No, that's really not necessary. Our request did not require you to catch the culprit after all. You brought back the candelabrum. But, Joshua, I understand your passion for upholding justice. But there are other, more important crimes which must be answered for. I do not wish to further monopolise your time over something so trivial. I have no doubt that there are others out there who are waiting for Abrace's help. It would please me if you help those in greater need first. Maya. Understood. Then we will close our investigation. Hmm. Oh, fine. And of course, I will compensate you fully for your time and effort. Now if you'll excuse my rudeness, I must leave. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours. Thank you. We'll also be on our way then. Uh, well, that's taken care of, but I wouldn't exactly call it settled. So it would seem, yes. Hey, come on Joshua. I know you've got something on your mind. Huh? Oh, yeah, a little. I was just wondering why the thief would take the candelabrum if he meant for it to be found. Good question. But it looks like we may never know. The newest card is what really gets me. It's as if this was designed as a test specifically for you two. Yeah, that's been bugging me too. We need to keep up our investigation. For starters, we still don't know where the crook sneaked in from. Why don't we do some sneaking around on our own and check out the estate? Won't that make us just as bad as the crook we're chasing? Well, then what are we supposed to do? What choice do we have? We're supposed to abide by the client's wishes. For now, we have to be patient. Err... Uh, Alright, let's go. Like the mayor said, there's a lot that still has to be done. Oh, alright. Guess it's back to the drawing board. That seems to be all that we can do for the moment. Alrighty, and that request is completed, so our next destination is going to be Minoria Village. Remember, at this point, we do not want to go to Genis Royal Academy, because that's going to start the next part of the story, and then we won't be able to complete these side quests. So I'll go ahead and head over to Minoria Village to speak to the NPCs, and I will meet you there. And here we are at Minoria Village. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and catch up with the lovely village folk. It's so good of you to come play with the kids at the orphanage. It's as if they've suddenly become everyone's grandchildren. I tend to prefer the quiet, but I don't mind that. And don't forget while you're here, if you still haven't purchased the salted anchovy, this is the last opportunity to do it before we go and complete the maintenance delivery quest. 
The kids from the orphanage seemed to be getting a bit of their old spirit back. I'm glad the girls were able to come over and play. The orphans and Matron Teresa are being well looked after, never you fear. We have to come together in times of trouble, you know. The weather's perfect for scaling that mountain I've had my sight set on, but I can't stop worrying about the kids from the orphanage. I still want to watch out for them, at least for a little while. I know I'm not the most dependable person around, but I have to do something. Hmm, I guess we can go climbing as much as we want now. I can't say that either of us sees that as a bad thing. It's almost time for the campus festival. I think the kids from the orphanage are going too. I just hope they can forget about all this mess, at least for a little while. Oh hello, I'm truly indebted to you for a multitude of reasons. The Minorians greatly appreciate all that you've done. I'm really grateful to everyone for all they've done. Where all the kids are though, wonder where they're playing. Oh, here they are. Thanks for helping Clem. He can be a real pain sometimes. I'm sure glad I have lots of friends. I'm playing with everyone. I wonder what's going on with dinner tonight. Everyone's doing better already. There's nothing left of the orphanage but rubble and ashes. That fire must have been burning super hot. There were so many memories made there. It seems that the orphan children are recovering their spirit little by little. They've settled in enough for me to hear them laughing from time to time. That's good. Glad to hear they're doing a little better at least. Huh? Um, are all of you with the Bracer Guild? Yes, we are. Are you Miss Amelia? That's right, I've been waiting for you. The assignment said something about an escort mission, guarding someone who's headed into the mountains. Yes, that's right, I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm? Oh, he's travelling to Bose, right? No, not exactly. He wants specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Huh? How come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I don't really know what he's talking about. Ah, okay then. Well, I think we should ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment, I've already called him. This sounded a lot simpler when we saw it on the bulletin board. I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. Crone Trail is an exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. We'll never know if we don't ask the man, though. Oh, looks like he's here. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well, it looks like he's already set out. What? Set out? For the Crone Trail, I assume? I think so, yes. And I'd asked him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what made him decide to just leave on his own like this. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. Why would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. It'd be even more dangerous in the dark. He should really be off the pass by sundown. Oh, I'm sorry. He came all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us, we're fine. I'm really sorry. I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. used to have three people living under this roof, including Zack. Uncle Orvid moved out years ago, though. He does pop back in here from wherever he goes on occasion. I wish Zack would get along a little better with him, though. Maybe he'd come home more often, then. We're finally done with the first phase of cleaning up the site of the fire. But more importantly, someone did this on purpose. They have to pay for what they did, and the only currency I'll accept is black eyes. So now we're going to head over to the lighthouse. 
Uh, so speaking to um, Amelia is very important to continue the escort quest because we'll actually be able to meet up with her uncle when we travel over to Crone Pass. But first of all, let's go ahead and get this delivered to the lighthouse keeper. It's probably at the top floor. Almost there. Here we go. We're back! Huh? Aren't you them kids from before? Ha! Uh -huh, it's been a while since we were last up this way. And today we're on another job. A request came into the Bracer Guild, so we're here to deliver this maintenance kit. Here you go, it's a little heavy though, so be careful lifting it. Yep, everything's here alright. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries, it's our job after all. Uh, on another note, we actually have something else for you. Uh oh Here you are, sir. It was entrusted to our care by Primo from Laventar. Oh my my, it's Azalea Rose. I used to drink this all the time while munching on anchovy dishes. Haha, I've got one of those for you too. Oh, oh. You've even brought me some munchies to go with it. What thoughtful braces you are. Man, this takes me back. How are Primo and the others? Are they doing well? You bet, they're all worried about you too, Gramps. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert those old bones of yours. I, uh, won't. Well, blunt or no, thank you for the concern. I value that even more than anchovies. So does this mean you're starting to understand what it means to possess a caring soul? Uh, nope. Not really. I'm no good for those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. Well, I thought you did a fine job today. Of course, you could always do better. Oh, that reminds me. Wait right here for a moment, if you would. I have something for you. Something I once used a long, long time ago. It'd be pleased as plum if you'd accept these for bringing all these things out here for me. They may be a little old, but like me, they'll still do the job, sure as the day you were born. Whoa, awesome, thanks. Sure we can have these? Absolutely, not like I'll be setting sail for wild exotic lands again anytime soon. Anyway, thank you for bringing this stuff all the way up here. Now I'd best get back to work. I've basically been playing Bucky this whole time we've been talking. I stay here any longer and somebody's bound to notice. Please, take care of yourself. Take care, you old coot. Please excuse us. Is it you kids again? Thanks for all your hard work. Make sure to always show your consideration for others. Alrighty, another quest completed. Now let's go on and get out of here. Alrighty. So let's see, we've got to make our way over to Crone Trail. And we should meet up with that uncle eventually. Just got to keep an eye out for him. Try and avoid some enemies while we're at it so we don't have to get into any additional fights we don't need to. Isn't that... Hey there! Help! I need help! Come on, Joshua. Right. Alrighty. Now, with the range upgrade we gave Joshua, I should just be able to hit everybody with the R. And, uh, everybody else should just go down to some hell gates. Get those two. I think we should have everyone covered. Oh, I guess I need that the wrong person. But we managed to do it anyway. Looks like we made it just in time. More like by a hers, but. 
you hurt, sir? Not at all, I'm quite alright. Thanks to you, I came out with nothing more than a few scratches. Hmm. Now I could almost swear I've seen you two somewhere before. The girl's homely face is especially familiar. Uh, homely? Hey, but now that you mention it... Oh, I remember now. You're the country girl from Roland. You. You're that conniving merchant who was searching for those toxic mushrooms. Estelle, he was a client, remember? Tone it down a bit. Hmm, it looks like even now you still haven't learned how to show the slightest courtesy. It's exactly what I'd expect from someone raised in the boonies. How about you just shut up, you nasty food maniac? No doubt you were out here hunting for more bizarre ingredients, right? Huh, I've already gathered the valuable wild vegetables I came here for. These exotic delectables are far more unique than even that firefly fungus. Aha, with these in hand, my next business deal is sure to be a success. Back up, buddy. What do you mean by next business deal? Ha, that firefly fungus didn't work out for you, did it? I'm not going to listen to any more of this pessimism. There just happens to be no demand for them at the time. That's all. End of story. Um, Estelle? When he mentioned the wild vegetables, did that bring anything to mind? Oh, right. Amelia, who we met at Minoria Village. Amelia, you say? That's my niece. But what does she have to do with any of this? Huh? Which means that you're her uncle? It certainly looks that way. Why, has she done something? Actually, Amelia asked that we provide your escort. But when we arrived in Minoria, you had already left. Is that so? I guess it wasn't very nice of me to take off like that. But it couldn't be helped. I had to come up with a real eye-catcher before my next business deal. And because of that, you almost ended up being some monster's next meal. Pretty sure you can't do business deals while in the belly of a monster. Hmm. Once you get back, you should apologise to Amelia. I'm sure she's worried sick about you. Alright, fine. I promise to talk to her after my next business deal in Gransol is done. I think that would be a good move on your part too. Okay, let's get going. We'll escort you back to town. You have my thanks. I am in your hands. Alrighty, so try and avoid any fights while you have the NPC in your party, and I will meet you back at Minoria Village. Hmm, this is splendid. I am greatly obliged to you for today. I do hope that the matter from earlier can be forgiven and forgotten. It would seem that we are united by fate. When next we meet, I hope we can see one another as business associates rather than mutual nuisances. I'm okay with it. What do you think, Estelle? Hmm, sounds good to me. So we're all on good terms again. To future successes. I'm very glad to hear you say that. And perhaps we'll meet again on the next job. See if we can have a quick word with his niece. Oh, the braces. My uncle hasn't come home yet. No, it's alright. He's probably on his way to Ruan right now. Huh? What do you mean? Your uncle ran into some monsters and was attacked while he was up on the Crone Trail. Don't worry, he didn't get hurt. Oh, thank goodness. I'm very sorry to have been such a burden. I just wish he would have stopped by the house before he left so we could talk things through as a family. He's a stubborn old man, very set in his ways. Alrighty, so that's it for all of the side quests, I believe. Yep, all that's left really is to go turn them in, so I will meet you back at Ruan. And here we are back again at Ruan. Let's head to the Bracer Guild and get everything turned in. Maintenance delivery, secrets of the old map, escort job, candelabra and theft, make him leave. Alrighty, and that is everything. So next episode, we will be able to head to the Generous Royal Academy. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode comes out. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.